Howdy folks, today I've got a brand new kit from Airfix, it's their 172nd Vulcan B2, which is this one here. We're going to do a comparison against a brand new tooling Vulcan that's just recently come out, compared to the older version, which you see on this side here, which is still a, a, a really good kit back in its day, but now they've done a newer version. Let's get into it. Okay, the first thing you notice with the comparison is the size of the boxes on the brand new one is a bigger box but it's the same size scale aircraft. This is going to contain a lot more parts than the older version, hell of a lot more detail. As for the kit number on the brand new Vulcan for this year is A12011. And the kit number for the old version is A50097. Okay, everything you notice with the first uh, brand new kit of the Vulcan, you notice everything is done in a couple of separate bags, which is a nice touch. They are, I think they are starting to listen to what people want. We've been asking for separate bags for years, and they've finally done it. very similar to the Hellcat that was done in separate bags but hopefully from now on everything will be done in separate bags in the future. As for the older Vulcan everything was stuffed in one bag exactly what we don't like parts can get damaged shoved around and broken So, as you see, with the old Vulcan, the uh, nose and the upper fuselage half is moulded like this, and whatever. As for the new one, nothing like that at all. The upper section now is here, is moulded as part of the wing assembly. So these two halves simply just go together, and that will make this tire section plus wings. Front nose on the old version this is the new section for the nose which is two pieces here. This section here is part of the inside of the nose makes two separate parts and you fill it with lead weight and it sits inside here, so it's not a tail sitter. Completely different design, much better on the new version. As for the lower section, it's pretty much done the same way. The two halves go together, and this makes up the lower section plus the wings. On the old version, It was done like this. So it'd be two halves going together, engines. The blue steel is not much different. This is the blue steel for the new version. There isn't much difference, but there is some some difference. These you've got the things separately, this is more as one piece. This one is certainly going to be easier to build in two halves. But I still prefer the new one. The new one is going to be better kit overall. Like I mentioned before, these are the wings. And they go on to the fuselage half, which is going to be a hot, more horrible design and more difficult to build. This is the upper wing. The detail is reasonable good, but unfortunately it is raised panel lines. But it's still a good kit, because this is what we had back in the day. Lower section was the same. 
two halves and two halves of the main tail but with the newer version like you saw earlier the spine and the wings are all done as one piece far better design detail it's much better it's no longer raised it's all recessed apart from the vortex and it's all nice and crisp much more need more detail Like we looked at just previously, as for the tail, there's two halves and you've got the fins and stuff. This is much better design, this is the new version. As for the old version, we looked on this sprue here. It's molded in two pieces, just similar to the uh, new version, but still much better design on the new one. On the new, new design, you get the option of having blue steel and bombs. This is the bombs section and the Bombay doors, which is a much better design because you get the option now. As before on the older version, it was just a blue steel option, which was a bit of a shame, really. So, this is what you get for clear. It's pretty decent for what you get. This Cloudy section is what gets painted. They are just to paint on the inside, but once you've got paint on there, you're not going to see them anyway. But the least is the clear. Nicely done. Okay, folks, this section here are the instructions for the new and the old version. You can tell by the difference straight away. It's more black and white, older style, new version, has all the red segments in it. Um, decals, we will take a look at the end. They are different markings, so bear that in mind. The old version, you only get one paint scheme. The new one, you get two. So again, the new one, much better options. So straight off the bat, we do get history, which is pretty much the same. Still done by uh, Humble Hobbies and then um, and more um, stents, um, call outs or warnings and stuff is the same that hasn't changed and the countries haven't changed um, the comparison for the first step on the old version they're asking for this, the basic floor seat and the two pilots which I just got to mention I have found one of the pilots but I've seemed to have disappeared one, one of them seemed to disappear but this is what the pilot looks like very very cheesy you, you're not going to expect a lot because the it is one seventy second at the end of the day, but that's where you get for a pilot. There should be two of those, but I seem to misplace some one of them somewhere. But they asked me for the floor, two cockpit seats, and the pilots, engine A cells, two halves, and engine pieces. Once that's built and the engines go in, and it's the lower and upper halves of the uh, fuselage halves, and then it's the tail and 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 rear, rear, rear boom tail piece but with the new version it's all about cockpit so you've got cockpit floor which is much better which is two stages levels side walls instrument panels pedals which you're never going to see uh bulkhead you're never going to see instrument panel with decal you're never going to see it the old one never had any of that i understand this is a much better kit and it's newer version but all this detail you're going to paint up nicely do straight out of the box i don't see the point of aftermarket for any of this because you're not going to see any of this at all as for the new version again you're still working on the cockpit uh seats going in now 
side consoles again the old one doesn't have none of that even the uh, boarding ladder the old one doesn't have that this is more seats for the uh, crew members at the back which I think are to do with electronics which is here and they have the uh, bulkhead for it as well which has electronics instrument uh, electronics and radios and probably all that kind of thing then you have the inner nose cone for uh, weight, they're asking for 40 grams. Me, I'll try and probably pack that out as much as you can for safety and uh, so it doesn't tip over. Um, you don't want it to be a tail seat every the day. I have that in the past. They've gone by the instructions. Um, they said about 20, 30 grams. I did 20, 30 grams in each en engine they sell like it required. Come to build it, it wasn't enough. So if in doubt, Double it if you can, or try and put as much as you can in. Again, this is the front nose. The new one doesn't do that. The new one is all attached. So this is far better build. Um, the only issue they may have is once you've built this nose up, attaching this whole tire nose to the uh, fuselage and wings assembly, which is on the new version, it may be a little bit of a fit issue. As for the old version, there's only 15 steps in total. The new one, 15 steps only get you still working on the cockpit. The new one consists of 143 steps. Much superior model. Old version, you're working on the wings and stuff now, and landing gear, and adding those separate sections, and the bomb bay door closed. The new version, is a later on step which is the wings don't even come into it until step 32 31 plus you've got to decide which you want the bomb day open with bombs or blue steel so we would look compare that in a minute you're still working on the uh, cockpit oh sorry my mistake We've looked at that. We're working on the, the Bombay section now, which the new one doesn't have. So this is the wing spar for structural strength. These are spars for the Bombay, and this is the Bombay section and engine nacelles alignment. So nicely done. Once this is built up and your wing spar and your structural individual ribs, I call them, for the Bombay goes in, it's going to be quite a strong, sturdy model. Sides of the... Uh, framing of the aircraft which makes up this whole tire section like a big triangle which will sit inside the two wing assembly which makes it a structural strong model the old one doesn't have any of that now we are working on the wings option of having the doors closed in flight option with the blue steel you're going to have to cut these green bits off for it to fit The new version, uh, sorry, the old version doesn't have that. It's just a shut option. Yeah. If you're having the blue steel, the old version doesn't show it, even though it's in the kit. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I am not missing any pages. So the old version doesn't show the blue steel going in. So even that is a mistake with Airfix as well. Um, this is the option for the blue steel. This is in flight option with the Bombay closed. This is that giant triangle wing spar for the blue steel. And this is the Bombay closed in flight. Structural part going in again. And here. In here we have landing gear door closed. And this is the landing gear itself. This is going to be for the open option. As for all of this, that's what you get for the landing gear in the old version. You don't even get a landing gear, I don't think. Like a uh, landing gear wheel bay, just the uh, landing gear and wheels. Engine setup now, two halves left and right. Uh, don't forget to cut these leading edge off.
my mistake, the, not the leading edge, cut the stencil out. This is for optional for the upper surface of camo, the stencil is. So you might want to cut this out, stick this on masking tape, and then you can stick this into place. I think that's to stop paint from getting inside the engines, uh, engine intakes, because you don't want camouflage going into it. So I think the inside the engines are a light grey or white. And then once they've been built up, you've got the two halves, even the splitter. Turbines going into the back, which is much better. The wood blower wing assembly and Bombay, all it has detail, which I forgot to show you actually. Um, this is attaching the front nose. You don't do that with the old one. It's like the old one. It's all attached. Wings going together. Which again, which is like this on the old version. We have these leading edge, which the old version doesn't have. Um, these are the engines itself built up. The old version. What do you get for engines? As for the engine assembly on the new version, the old version, you don't even get any engines. It's just once you build it up, it just looks like this. There's not even any engine detail at all. So with the new version, here is the tail, even with the old, old, old version for the tail, which is here. Not much difference, but there is two halves and the, these leading edges. As for the engine detail, we've got the uh, lower section, two engines, uh, nozzles, and what looks like a jig to uh, keep everything in, lined into place or from, from going out of place, which is a nice touch. Repeating the process for left and right. Yeah, left and right sides. And then these leading edge flaps and a lot of detail parts. The old version has none of that. I'll tell you why this section here is these pieces here on the old version. This section here to what I can gather. And this section here is this section on the old version. Tail assembly on the new version. That's the tail assembly for the old version. Old version is a much simpler kit, but it's still hot. It's, it's harder to build. I think this is more complex, but I think it's going to be more, more easier. Even though it's got more parts, and it gives you more options. The tail going in and the flaps, which is a nice touch. So you should, and you can have them 30 degrees at angle, so you can have them poseable, which is a nice touch. Don't forget the tip, and then you've got your flaps, two halves. And you can have a 10 to 22 degree angle, which is flaps down or flaps up, which is a nice touch. Leading those flaps again, up or down, 27 degrees down or 12.5 up. And then you have the leading edge for the flaps. Landing gear, much more detailed. Landing gear segments consist of uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 parts on this. But the landing gear for the old is just two sets. Um, and then left and right, the old version doesn't even tell you that, it just gives you one step and you've just got to work it out for left and right. Front landing gear, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven steps for the front landing gear. That's all you get for the front landing gear on the old version. Old version doesn't even get any of this, which is new option for the newer version. Bombay open with all the bombs, which is a nice touch. And this is part of the Bombay assembly, which should be the open option. So Bombay open, show all bombs if you wish to do that. And these are the flaps. This is the blue steel option, two halves and the fins. Tell you not to glue the fins in, so they I think they're movable. The front fins are 
basically like canards. <clears throat> and then you've got the fin at the back and uh, attaching it into the floor. The blue steel for the old version, even though it's in the kit. Not wet anywhere in the new version. It doesn't even tell you the blue steel in the new version. Uh, in the old version, it doesn't tell you the blue steel. Even though it's in the kit, it doesn't tell you about it. And the last piece is the border ladder, if you're having it on the ground. The canopy, which is pretty much the same, and then you have the uh, air brakes down or up, and the pitot tube on the front. Pitot tube on the front is this air brake assembly, which I believe the old version doesn't have any air brakes, doesn't even have the border ladder. And as for the canopy, which is here, being attached. Canopy option being attached here. There is a little bit of instrument panel on the inside facing up. Again, you're not even going to see that. So it's nice that they give you it, but again, you're not even going to see it. As for the canopy being attached, that's that. This is the old. As for the paint options, for the new, you get two-tone camouflage, which is the RF dark green and medium sea grey. And the other side is the uh, insignia white, I just imagine it would be. But they're calling out for white, blue steel, which is white. The bomb, bomber version, which they're calling out here, all in white. But I think the blue steel was white as well. This is the all white version. The old version doesn't give you that, it just gives you the camo version. But with the older version, it gives you the uh, most famous aircraft that flew around in the air shows for a while, but now it's finally retired. This is what you get for old version. It's straight up camouflage all over. Again, it's the same colours. RF dark green and the uh, dark sea grey. No stencil data for the old. The new one, love them or hate them, stems of data galore. Here's for the markings. This is the new, and this is the old. Two options, but two different completely aircraft. There you are my friends, there's a comparison video on the two Vulcans from AirFix, 170 second scale. This is the old and this is the new. Don't be discouraged by the older version if you have this in your stash. It's still a damn good kit in my opinion. Um, but this is much more superior and more detailed now. Um, if you wish to see the videos on reviews on individual kits, there'll be the links for them in the uh, description and stuff so check them out as well like comment subscribe and i'll catch you later